Uvijek potencirao jedno gospodje Kandicu. Serbian sociologist Natasha Kandic is on her way to Pristina, the capital of Kosovo, surrounded by K-4 troops. She has been fighting the Milosevic regime ever since it came into power. During and after the wars on the Balkan, she continued crossing the ethnic divide in search of the truth. The Belgrade Humanitarian Law Center, of which she is the director, registers all violations of human rights, be they perpetrated by Serbs, Bosnians, Croats or Albanians. The center's findings are an important source of information for the UN Tribunal on war crimes of the former Yugoslavia. You know, it's the most uh, difficult problem in Kosovo, missing persons and their fates and uh, how to investigate, how to, uh, you know, we are a small uh, organization, only four offices in Kosovo, and we should be uh, an agency uh, with many uh, detectives, with many uh, policemen from Interpol. <laughs> A trip to Orauwac and to Metrevica, a divided town in the north of Kosovo. Here she hands out cigarettes to members of the Serbian minority. They're under continuous threat by revenge-seeking Albanians from across the bridge in the southern part of town. She tells them not to lose hope. This man has not left his house for many months. He's even forgotten what the inside of a shop looks like. The atmosphere is tense. Many consider her a traitor, an informer, because few Serbs have come to terms with the country's war crimes. Here in her Kosovo office, Natasha Kandic is trying to track down missing Albanians in Serbian custody. This man has lost his brother. The family is desperately trying to find out if he's still alive. There are at least 2,000 Albanians missing. It is assumed they are held in Serbian jails and lawyers are extorting thousands of German marks to get them released. Trying to find transport in Pristina is difficult. Albanian drivers recognize her Serbian accent and turn down her request for a ride. I started spoken Serbian and he said, no, I cannot drive you. Another trip across the bridge in Metrovica, heavily guarded by French K-4 troops. It's a human rights visit. I see that I'm only person who can talk with Serbs and Albanians, because uh, uh, everywhere are Albanians and I talk, uh, uh, used to talk with them about what's happened during the NATO bombardment. I cannot uh, uh, meet Serbs in the streets. Serbs are in their houses, in their enclaves, and I think it's very important to talk with them and to try to show Albanians that uh, I go there. <laughs> The house of this Serbian woman was attacked. When Natasha returned the next day, the whole family had fled with unknown destination. Ordinary people don't understand human rights. They think that uh, if somebody protects them, that he's on his political side. And it is the main problem. Uh, and uh, I was uh, sometimes in situation to uh, listen from the people to say, you are on our side. And I always say, no, I'm not, uh, uh, I'm not on your, your political side. I will be always on your human rights side.